the humble laundry bag. This mesh bag here, we know because we use it to wash our delicates or separate things out when we're doing our laundry. But did you know that laundry bags, mesh bags, delicates bags, whatever you choose to call them, have so many different uses around the house as well as in the laundry room. So in this video, I'm gonna show you six genius ways that you can use a mesh laundry bag. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel, Give this video a thumbs up if you like laundry hacks too. Dirty running shoes have never been trendy. Clean running shoes are always in style. And one of the ways that you can clean them is of course by machine washing them. Always make sure you check the care label first. But then the question is, how do you dry those shoes? Because if you've ever put shoes in the dryer, you know that it sounds like someone very creepy is running around your laundry room. So a good solution is to pop the shoes into your mesh bag, and then you can loop the top and the bottom of the bag around the door of your dryer, close the door, so that the laundry bag is effectively sitting against the back of your dryer door. And then you just turn it on, you can do other laundry as usual, and your shoes will be dry as well without all that banging. If you're fortunate enough to be headed to a beach, you might be thinking ahead about how you're gonna keep that cell phone, those car keys, your sunblock, and all of your other beach accessories together. Well, a great solution is to use a mesh bag to do that. Think about it. You've got the mesh, so it'll allow anything to flow through it that needs to, for example, sand, but it'll keep all of your items together. You not only have a great way to corral all of your items, but you'll make sure that you're not bringing a whole bunch of sand home with you at the end of the day. Another great way to get your kids acquainted with doing laundry early is to use mesh bags to sort their favorite toys. So whether they're stuffed animals or other types of toys, you can have one bag where you put all of the toys or stuffed animals at the end of the day. It's a great organizing solution. You can even hang it on a hook at the back of their door, or you can have a couple of different bags and because they're mesh, the kids can see very clearly what's inside the bag, take down the one that they like or Depending on how high it's hanging, they will ask you to take it down and it makes tidy up a lot easier. Of course, mesh bags are great for delicate, so any items that you wanna keep from getting snagged or pulled in the wash, but they are also great for separating out any garments that you don't wanna go in the dryer, and it saves you time because when you're moving your load over from the wash to the dryer, you don't actually have to worry about picking through each and every garment and pulling out the things that you don't wanna dry. If you put those items into a mesh bag like this, you can just pull out that bag and you know to hang those items. Chad does this with a few of his t-shirts, and I mean, this guy can't afford for his t-shirts to shrink, so it makes perfect sense to me. Now, the other thing that you can keep in mind is that if you are prone to losing socks, and I think that probably goes for all of us, you can probably just throw all of your socks into a mesh bag before you launder them, and then that way they'll go straight from the wash into the dryer, they'll come out, and you will not be short a sock. If you buy a lot of onions and potatoes and foods like that, you know that you've gotta keep them in a cool, dark place, and you want them to breathe so they don't sprout ears and eyes and green things that are terrifying looking and make you not wanna ever eat them. So a great way to store them is to get yourself a little mesh bag. It contains everything. It allows your produce to breathe. It keeps it fresher for longer. And if you're looking for a way to save space, you can get yourself a hook and you can hang your mesh bag on that hook too. Something that parents are all too familiar with is their kids' obsession to put toys in their mouths or get toys very, very dirty. And then oftentimes they'll worry about how to clean the toys because God only knows what's going on on the surface of the toys. Well, a great way to do that, of course, making sure that the toys are safe to be cleaned, is to pop them into a mesh bag. And from there, you can either put them on the top rack of your dishwasher or in the washing machine. And then, of course, depending on the type of toy, you might not wanna use any product at all. So for something plasticky, like for example, Lego, you can just put those on the top rack of the dishwasher and use the sanitize cycle, no products. Or if it's something that's a little bit fluffy, you can, again, check the care label, but you can put it into your mesh bag, pop it into your washing machine and use very gentle detergent. And that brings me to this week's comment question and I'm quite curious about this. What's your take on cleaning kids' toys? How often do you do it? Or do you think it's not a big deal and it's just good to help them build up their immune system? And if you do clean them, how do you clean them? Talk to me in the comments down below. 
about your thoughts on cleaning kids' toys. A special thanks to our friends at Evercare for providing these beautiful mesh laundry bags that we used in this video. If you want to learn about the Evercare mesh laundry bags, you can visit evercare.com or you can click the link down below and they also have a ton of other great products on there too. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love and if you want to learn more about Maker's microfiber cleaning cloths, you can click this link right over here. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.